This series of videos is designed to teach you everything you need to know in order to easily answer combinatorics questions on the GMAT quant section. In this first video, I'll introduce the three combinatorics tasks that appear on GMAT combinatorics questions and teach you how to recognize these three tasks. The first task is ordering. The second is selecting and ordering, or what we call permutations. And the third task is selecting without ordering, or what we call combinations. So here are some examples of what each of these three tasks might look like. A basic ordering question might ask you how many ways seven cars can be lined up, or in how many different orders seven contestants in a talent show can compete. A permutations question involving both select selecting and ordering might ask you how many ways four of those cars from the collection of seven could be lined up or how many different ranked lists of four contestants could be created from among the seven contestants in the talent show. A combinations question involving selecting without ordering might ask you how many ways you could select four cars from among the seven, or how many ways you could select four contestants from among seven semifinalists in the talent show. So notice that in the combinations questions where we are selecting without ordering, the time and space elements have disappeared from the question. We are now just asking about numbers of things, whereas the other types of tasks involve some kind of time or space element in order to order or arrange the elements in the question. So those are the three kinds of combinatorics tasks that appear on GMAT quant combinatorics questions. In the following videos, I'll teach you the formulas that correspond to each of these tasks, explain where those formulas come from and why those make sense, and I'll teach you how to use them in order to solve any GMAT combinatorics question.